Hey, hey everybody, Abolitionist Jay here with today's vlog. It's currently about 2.30 on June 9th, 2018. And Murder Dog and I are currently somewhere off the Wontaw Parkway. Green Island nature or something or other. I don't know. There's a fishing pier along the way that we decided to pull off on as we were taking a drive. And I figured I'd record this. Actually, this is now probably the fifth or sixth time I've attempted to record this vlog. Because uh, I keep rambling on and saying things and realizing I don't really want to say all that. So... We'll try this one more time, and this time from outside the vehicle. Hopefully it'll go better. So, since the last time I spoke to y'all, Murder Dog and I finished up uploading, well, I did, she sat there patiently waiting, uh, uploading all those videos to YouTube. So now everything as of uh, that's up on Steam as of yesterday should now also be on YouTube. So for, so for any of my uh, followers who are having issues still, because I keep getting requests to make sure the stuff gets up on YouTube because some people have problems uh, accessing the DTube videos for some reason. Uh, we got all that done, and then we went out for a nice little walk, and then we just kind of putzed around for a while. Uh, ended up going back to a dog park to hang out for a bit, making some more new friends. Not the one that I shot in the video that I put out earlier today. Um, <laughs> diff different dog park. We're, we're not going to go back to that one anymore. The people there really are horrible. Um, and then uh, we spent a few hours hanging out in the parking lot, one that we knew we got really good Wi-Fi in, uh, hoping we were going to get a call from the wife and kids uh, in regards to like a Skype conversation because you know, I haven't seen their little faces and anything other than pictures in a few days. Uh, unfortunately, that never material materialized. The wife's phone ended up crapping out uh, almost altogether, and she, you know, messaged me and said that she wasn't even it wasn't even able to hold the charge anymore. Um, and because of all the issues with her family and whatnot, she can't even ask for their help. And now she's stuck down there, refusing to buy plane tickets home for her and the kids because she's just going to wait until Tuesday until the plane tickets they already have show uh, are, are are valid. Um, and you know, not willing to go get a burner phone or anything. I don't know. Seems suspect to me, but I'm, I'm trying to maintain my composure. Um, like I said, I, I, I tried recording this multiple times cause well, I just keep getting miffed and talking more and more about this stuff. And part of me really wants to get all of it out there. Um, mainly because, well, the wife threw it in my face earlier that I haven't been completely honest with everybody. So I was just going to air all the dirty laundry, but <sighs> I, I know that doesn't make anything better probably won't even make me feel better right now so anyway so the the call never materialized uh i ended up having another couple hour phone conversation with my buddy merrick instead who tried to you know keep talking me down and making me feel better um and then we went back to our favorite spot for the night set up camp and i actually ended up watching well most of black panther last night which i haven't seen yet i got a copy of it from the uh <laughs> public library a while ago it's been sitting on my laptop uh, I wanted to watch it with the kids we never got around to doing that before uh, I had to before that house finally closed um, or before they left and I just needed to watch something last night so I threw it on and I'm gonna have to watch it with them anyway because I don't even remember half the story I was like zoning in and out as I was watching it so once that was finally over, though, I, I turned everything off and uh, went down for the night. And Murder Dog and I actually slept in a little bit this morning. We didn't get up until almost eight, which is pretty late for us these days. And then, you know, we did our we did our usual, make our way over to the bathroom so I can so I can uh, relieve myself, brush my teeth, wash my hands and face and stuff. And then took her over to the dog park so she could do all of her business and uh, get some you know release some energy. Uh, she wasn't too thrilled with the crowd that was there this morning. She was just kind of like, eh, whatever. Kind of just kept to herself, which is fine. You know, we hung out there for a while. And then we headed out. Uh, had to pick up a couple of supplies because we were running low on peanut butter and stuff like that. And uh, then we went about trying to get in touch with the wife and kids. And uh, that just hasn't seemed to really materialize. Uh, she managed to get her phone working long enough in order to have them call me, but, you know, they're little, they're excited about everything that's going on, so they were just, like, running back and forth, like, talking at the phone, often at the same time, so I didn't even hear half the things they said, um, and then they were off and running, and they were gone, and, 
yeah, we still haven't, we weren't able to work out the Skype thing because the camera on my um, laptop, unfortunately, is still not working. Uh, I'm able to record these videos, but it will, the camera will not work for Skype. And it worked for Facebook video for half a second earlier, but I couldn't. They weren't answering the call when I was calling them, and then it stopped working altogether for Facebook video. So the only option was to use Skype on my phone, and for some reason Skype wasn't working on their end, trying to use their tablets and everything. So, yeah, it's just... It's now been over three and a half days, and I haven't seen anything but uh, a couple of pictures of them. And, uh, yeah, it's getting kind of rough, folks, honestly. I, uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm I'm to try not to dip into this as much as I did in the past at five attempts to record this, but I got to at least say some of this. Uh, you know, this whole experience, I mean, we're on day 10 now, and uh, for like four of those days, I've, I've, we've been out here on our own because we were kind of abandoned. <laughs> and, uh, you know, seeing my kids the little amount that it was to begin with was tough. This is even tougher. And now, like, I can't even get in touch with them if I, if I want to because I have no idea if the, fo- if the wife's phone's working or not. And since she seemingly refuses to go out of her way to actually acquire another phone or do anything, um, you know, I'm just kind of left here stuck doing nothing and that's that's actually how we ended up here because we were we spent hours in a train station parking lot this morning um hoping that the stuff was going to you know hoping we could get something to work and that's where i had good wi-fi so we just sat there and waited and waited and waited and just never ended up materializing and then i attempted to record this video multiple times and uh like i said I, i i just kept scrapping every one of them so uh so yeah we decided to take a drive because You know, as much stuff as I, like, I have things with me to read. I have, you know, my buddy Shane Radliff sent me a copy of his new book that he's uh, about to publish in another few weeks that he asked me me and a few other people to uh, proofread and try to edit it a little bit for him. I really do want to do that for him. Uh, You know, I told him I would, which means I'm going to do my best to do it. But I tried, and I just can't even focus. You know, I tried reading through it, and I, I can't give it the full attention it needs right now, so I'm going to have to hold off uh, for at least another couple of days before I even try to get into that. You know, I, I like I said, I have a bunch of other stuff to read. I mentioned the other night I started reading uh, Hashtag Agora. I tried picking that up again. Can't stay focused on the page. It's just, it's tough, folks. I mean, it's one thing to be uh, to be in a fight with the wife. I mean, we've gone through this type of stuff before. Every, you know, people in relationships, you all know that stuff. It's one thing to go through a fight. You know, and then the maybe not speak for, you know, maybe not speak for a few hours or even overnight or whatever, you know, you know, mad the next morning and whatnot. That's one thing. This is a completely different scenario because it's not like I, you know, I don't have much of a recourse because they're nowhere, you know, they're over a thousand miles away from me and there's pretty much nothing I can do about it. You know, there's clearly nothing I could do to stop it. I tried and none of that worked. So, you know, and then I tried to acquiesce and say, well, fine this is going to happen whether I want it or not apparently and try to make some kind of contingencies and some plans and try to like, you know, get some stuff going in my favor because of it. And yeah, that hasn't seemed to happen. And now, you know, now here we are. It's like I said, it's only Saturday afternoon. I still don't actually know when they're coming back. I know the day, but I was never given a return flight information, a time, anything. You know, that's that's part of the other problem with with communication. So iffy between the wife and I and me not having any of this information. I mean, heck, I don't even know where my kids are right now. And that that really sucks. You know, I don't even know the address of where they're staying. It was never given to me. I've asked for it. Still haven't got it. Um, You know, and I I don't know if it's because the message never went through or she's just not giving me the information. Um, You know, and it's. It's just tough, folks. I'm trying, uh, you know, I'm trying to maintain. And uh, I, I did say I was going to keep doing these videos, so I'm going to keep doing them. And, you know, a lot of it is, is for the whole routine thing, so I, I have something to focus on every day. But even this, like I said, this is my sixth take. Focusing is tough uh, when, uh, when, when you miss your kids and you don't actually know when you're going to see them again or when you can even talk to them again. You know, it's that's difficult. And... You know, like I said, I'm I'm really only sharing as much as I'm sharing now because, well, the wife kind of got on me earlier about the fact that I, I said certain things in the video, but then I'm telling her other things. And I said, well, yeah, I was trying to be nice. I was trying not to air all our dirty laundry, but, you know, I don't know what else to do. We're out here. We're trying to survive, you know. 
I, I know she knows deep down that this wasn't like some pleasure cruise for me, that I'm not just doing this for the hell of it, for the fun. Like she, I know deep down she knows that I'm doing this to try to save as much money as I can for the family and I. But, you know, when she gets mad, she forgets that and starts trying to tell me that it's my fault that I'm out here because I chose to do this. Yeah, I, I chose to do it for a very specific reason and also with the knowledge that I'd have a backup and, uh, you know, when the backup just up and leaves with, like, less than 48 hours, of, you know, basically 48 hours of warning, you know, that changes things a little bit. I wish she would see that. Unfortunately, she doesn't because, well, you know, when she gets mad, she uh, wants to forget about all the things that she's doing wrong and just focus on what I'm doing wrong. So, yeah, unfortunately, as with so many other things in my life, especially over the past year, even when I'm not the one doing things... I'm still the one who has to pay for it one way or the other. And, uh, yeah, it's making it really, really hard to stick to that whole mantra that I was mentioning the other day that I got from my buddy Merrick about, you know, pick yourself off the floor and stop being a pussy. Well, I'm trying. I really am. But, you know, like I said, I want to see my kids. It sucks. And, uh, you know, barely, like, I, I've heard their voices, like, you know, briefly. <laughs> over the course of three and a half days that's just not nearly enough so yeah it's uh this is a, probably another bummer of a video but you know at least we got some decent scenery i think i wanted to get closer but i didn't need to uh get harassed and pulled over i'm not even supposed, i don't even think i'm supposed to be in this parking lot i think you're supposed to have permits to park in this parking lot but i figured if I stayed near my vehicle, it wouldn't be as much of a deal. I'm, like, slapping myself. There's green flies all over the place. I hate these fuckers. Anyway, so, so yeah, really, uh, really bumming that I can't see or talk to my kids. I'm uh, missing my wife a little less right now because of uh, everything that's transpiring. I just want, I just want to see my kids right now. Um, you know, her and I will deal with things later, I guess. Don't really have an option. Um, I did contemplate driving down that way at this point because it's just getting insane. But again, I don't even know where they are. So, you know, I'm just going to stay put because, well, I got to go to work tomorrow for a little bit. And my plan was after that to head upstate. Uh, hopefully I'm still going to do that. Uh, but if I'm still having focusing issues, who knows? You know, I don't know if I could focus on a two and a half, three hour drive. But we'll see because... I definitely have to do something to uh, try to take my mind off this. And uh, like I said, it's even with all the things I do have to do, things I could find to do, it's just it's really hard for me because, you know, especially because I've been through this before being separated through my kids. And I remember how fucking hard it was. And, uh, you know, having that knowledge doesn't make it any easier the next time around. It makes it harder because <laughs> I remember that. I remember how I felt and it's so much easier to slip back into that you know, mindset of just being miserable and just wanting nothing more than to just be able to physically touch them on the head and say, hey, there you are, you know, like, can't do that right now. And it's tough. So. So, yeah, it's uh, it's another one of those days. You know, luckily, Murder Dog and I still haven't been harassed by anybody except for that, you know, rude individual at the dog park the other day. And uh She's still still doing pretty well. Uh, you know, took her back in for that vet appointment yesterday and got the call back today. And now they want to lower her dosage of her thyroid medicine. So now we got to go take care of that too. Um, but you know, I guess otherwise we're doing all right. We uh, don't really have much planned until uh, until tomorrow. So who knows? We may drive around for a little bit. May find some place to park. You know. It's, uh, it's the other tough things. I can't go everywhere I want to go because of her, but, you know, I'm not going to leave her anywhere. So we have to make do with what we can. And uh, that's what we're trying to do. But, you know, when you get all this other stuff thrown at you, it's really hard to keep trying to maintain. I'm doing my best. And, uh, yeah. All right. I think I'll uh, cut this off now before I start rambling again and then have to start another whole video for the seventh time. So anyway, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, at the very least, you know that I'm still alive. I'm still out here. And uh, yeah, it's a struggle. The, you know, it's more of an emotional one right now because of the other crap that's going on. But the van nomadism stuff itself is going pretty well. Um, you know, once I, uh, 
once I can clear some more stuff out of here um, and we have even more room and uh, maybe rearrange one more time, we'll be even in a better spot when it comes uh, to that. And then, uh, you know, we'll just take it from there. So we shall return tomorrow. Um, who knows? Maybe we'll record the video before we head upstate. Maybe we'll do it once we get up there. Um, yeah. But uh, keep checking back and uh, we'll keep trying to uh, I'll try to have more positive videos <laughs> moving forward. I do have a couple of other short ones I shot uh, on my phone that'll be coming out uh, over the next couple of days. I'm trying to limit uh, how much I put out because I don't like to overload Steam it. I usually only like to post once a day on Steam it. But because I have all this extra content now, I've been doing twice a day. I consider doing three times a day, but. They don't get enough exposure when I do twice a day, so we're just gonna we'll stick. You know, we're not gonna do three. So, I'll put a I'll put another short video out tomorrow with this one, and then uh, Monday there might be three there might be three things coming out because a new Seeds of Liberty is scheduled to come out on Monday as well. Um, but I'll you know I'll probably put out that in uh, a vlog and maybe one of the other videos I have, and then uh, hopefully once we get upstate, I can get some more nature shots and uh, you know we could do some more, especially if we actually end up setting up our camp. Uh, our camping stuff, you know, if we decide to, uh, you know, make use of my buddy's property and actually set everything up, I'll definitely do some videos from inside the tent or outside the tent or whatever. And, uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll be in an even better state of mind then. Um, although, you know, like I said, considering I, I don't know when I can talk to my kids next, I'm a little doubtful on that, but I'll try to stay positive, I guess. They don't call me Eeyore for nothing though, folks. I am a pessimist. Well, anyway, thank you again for uh, for, for watching, everybody. And uh, thank you again for your continued support and the suggestions and all the comments to keep rolling in. Really appreciate it. Um, you guys are doing more than anything to, the, to keep me sane right now, more than you know. So I really, really, really appreciate that. And, uh, yeah. Rock on with the van life, right? This is Abolitionist Jay. Peace, y'all.